You're never gonna make something into a lifestyle if you don't have the right things to curb your cravings. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I thought it would be really fun to do the 10 things that I make sure that I buy every single week to keep in my fridge and pantry to keep me on track for my low carb lifestyle. If you're new to my channel, I follow a low carb lifestyle. I intuitively eat. I just started a new workout, if you wanna call it that, little workout regimen, and I am getting to my goals so fast you guys, I'm almost at my pre-baby weight. I am super excited. I have my daughter in March and I'm just chugging along. Nothing in this video is sponsored, but let's get going. So this year has been crazy. Let's be honest. Before I jump into the video, I just wanted to remind everybody, I am going to be launching my first group coaching program very shortly. If you guys have been on a low carb diet, keto diet, you're struggling. You're struggling for the motivation, you're struggling to stay on track, you're struggling to know where to start, I got you. I've been there. I have been there three times. This is my third time doing the low carb diet. First I did it for my wedding, then I did it after I had my son in 2018, and now I'm on my third time doing it after I had my daughter in March. Guys, I've cracked the code. If you guys want to work with me in a group coaching setting, I will be cheering you on, I will be working with you guys, and we will be tackling this so that you can finally lose your weight, finally accomplish your goals, and we can do it together. If that's something that interests you, so click down below in the description box, there's gonna be a link right there. Get signed up for my wait list, which means as soon as I put out the program, you guys will get info first. And also, when you sign up on my wait list, I'm giving you a free download for a weekly planner printable. This is awesome. So you can print it out as many times as you want. You just have to sign up for the wait list and you can organize your meals on there. You can organize your habits. You can organize events for the week, things to remember, appointments, anything your heart desires, but you can print out a new one every week and it is yours for free. And always, if you guys have questions about anything on my channel for my group coaching program, you can always email me. My contact information is always down below. All right, so now let's jump right into the 10 things that I have to make sure I get every single week. They are on my grocery list. I've been doing a lot of grocery pickup lately, and these are things that are automatically, I default them and put them into my cart. So here we go, number one, whipped cream cheese. I know, right? <laughs> Kind of a weird thing to start off with, but let me tell you, I use this probably multiple times a week. So if you haven't seen my latest broccoli cheddar soup recipe, it is to die for. It is low carb, it's amazing, and it tastes better than Panera in my opinion. So if you can make that at home in your crock pot, dump and go, I don't know what more you need. I don't know. You let me know. So I love to make my soup with this. It just makes it ultra creamy and just super good. I also like to use this for an awesome snack. If you guys haven't tried it yet, I just cut up some cucumber slices. I put a little like dollop of the whipped cream cheese right on top and then I sprinkle it with some everything but the bagel seasoning. You guys, if you've never tried that as like a keto low carb snack, you're missing out. Go grab yourself some cucumber slices and get to town because you're gonna love it. Number two, I always make sure now that I have some kind of low carb, milk-ish something that I can add into my smoothies. I'm obsessed with the Silk Unsweetened Vanilla Almond Milk. It is so good, so, so, so good. And I add this into my smoothies. I've been doing a little workout regimen. If you haven't seen those videos, I will link them down below and I'll put cards up on top. I've been trying, so I've been craving better foods for me. I've been craving some smoothies, some more salads, veggies. So I like to make sure I have some almond milk on hand to make those smoothies, because fun fact about me, I don't really like milk. So the only milk that I will drink is something that's mixed into a smoothie, and this almond milk is just perfection. All right, number three, I love to have frozen cauliflower rice on hand. I eat this multiple times a week. I think it's the perfect side dish for literally anything. So I will put this underneath of a burger if I feel like switching it up a little bit. I will also do it with some fish or some chicken. I love having scallops, so I will add scallops on top of this cauliflower rice. It's just so convenient in the craziness that's going on with my life right now. Two little kids working from home, my husband's home, so it's like, if I can just pop something in the microwave for myself and just let it heat up, that's a win. That okay, number four, I love to have some kind of lunch meat on hand. Now, I know some people, you either love lunch meat or you hate it, that's fine. I, 
I love certain kinds, let's put it that way. So lately I've been going to uh, Giant and I get their bistro style turkey. So it's just like a traditional turkey lunch meat and I absolutely love it. The taste to me is perfection, I just love it. I think that's great. I like it when it's thinly sliced and I love to make sandwiches with this. I've been making a sandwich with some keto bread, one side I put mayo, the other side I put some hot pepper spread, and then I just do a little bit of turkey and cheese of your choice. I'm an American cheese girl for sandwiches. Again, you either love it or you hate it. But that's my ultimate sandwich. I love it. It's so, so, so good. I'm on like a little sandwich kick right now, so having some kind of lunch meat on hand is great. If you're not wanting to have any, any kind of bread, even if it's like a keto bread, I would suggest doing some roll-ups. You could also roll up, cut them into slices, and put it on top of a big salad as like a chef salad. So delicious. And if you're in the mood to make your own, I have an awesome, awesome recipe for making your own homemade roast beef. You guys, if you've never tried to make your own homemade roast beef, you're missing out. I love doing it. I actually, this is reminding me that I need to do that again. So maybe my husband and I will do it next weekend because it's just so fun and it's, it's great because you know what went into it. There's no preservatives. If you're pregnant, you can have it because there's no like listeria. So yeah, that's another option. I'll put that in a card too and I'll link my recipe down below. Okay, number five. So you heard me mention smoothies and you heard me mention salads earlier. I love to have a big container of greens. Greens, I put them in my smoothie. I do a big handful into smoothies. I also love having big green salads. I just think having greens on hand and having them be fresh, it just makes you wanna eat those kind of things. So it just makes me wanna have a nice big salad, knowing that I have that in the fridge. So it's highly motivating to eat healthy when I know I have these ingredients in the fridge. All right, so I've been trying to eat healthier, but I am still human and I love having some kind of treat. So every week I will buy like one or two things that are a little treat for myself. So it might be some keto ice cream. I found an awesome one at Aldi. They also have Rebel ice cream at, at a couple of my local stores. So I will pick up a little pint of that. It's just in there in case I want it. And it helps so that I don't binge on the things that aren't low carb in my house. So I do have two little kids. My husband is not low carb. So we do have regular food in the house. There's Doritos here. There's regular ice cream. So there's ice pops. So for me, if I have treats that I can actually have in the house, it just keeps me on track because I don't want to cheat, have a little bite, a little taste of something that I shouldn't. So it really helps just to have those treats in the house in case you want them. Or an ice cream bar, the enlightened ice cream bars I tried the other day on camera were so delicious. Highly recommend those. Someone mentioned in the comments that they make cheesecake bites. What? Like, I need to find those ASAP. So I will report back if I do find them, but I'm on a mission now. So I love just having some kind of sweet treat in case I want it. All right, number seven, I love having a low carb yogurt on hand. Love it. My fridge is always full of it. My husband's not low carb, but he actually prefers the Too Good yogurt to any other yogurt. He doesn't like very sweet things. He's not a sweet tooth person at all. I'm not really either, unless I'm pregnant, then I want fruit and ice cream and everything, but right now I'm not. So I love having a yogurt that's a good option for low carb, low sugar, and it still tastes good. I love to put some keto granola into this. You could even just do some crushed up um, nuts too. Just chop them up and throw them in. That's a great like granola substitute. And I just love having yogurt as an option in the morning. So I've been touch and go with what I eat for breakfast, but if I do feel like something sweet, love having yogurt. I recently tried the new, um, a new keto yogurt. I love it. I only bought one because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not, but next time I go to the store, I'm stocking up because this is my new favorite. All right, number eight. So I mentioned sandwiches. I think a good, or a couple actually, a couple keto bread options are a must have, a must have. And sometimes people think that going super strict, clean keto, very low carb is best for them. You do whatever's best for you. For me personally, I'm not in the restrictive space right now. I wanna be able to have a sandwich if I want it. I wanna be able to have a wrap if I want it. And low carb breads have come so far. My husband and I were just talking when we did low carb back in 2013. There was maybe one company that we knew of that offered like a low carb or a keto bread and it was still like 10 grams of carbs per slice, which isn't terrible, but I mean, I bought it immediately. <laughs> Believe me, it did not even taste like bread, but it did its, it did its thing. You know, it, it made a sandwich for me when I wanted it, but now there are so many options and I always try to keep them on hand because 
Like I said, if I want a sandwich, I want to be able to have a sandwich. That's how I've been able to stick to this lifestyle and see the results that I've seen because I'm not restricting myself. I'm just finding a better and healthier alternative to fit my lifestyle. So I love the new bread that I found. It's not new, but it's new to me. The keto bread from Aldi, it's just so good. It's a wheat bread that I got and it literally tastes like a piece of wheat bread. I am not missing out at all. My husband looked at it and he that's how we sparked our conversation. He said, oh my God, this look is like exactly like his wheat bread. He's like, wow, how is it? And I said, it's delicious. It tastes exactly the same. And it is zero carb, zero carb. So that's a win for me. Sometimes I will have a slice in the morning and a slice for dinner. Like I will just use it as my, my bun for a burger. I will use it for a sandwich. I will have a piece with my eggs in the morning. Like I, and I've been seeing results. So it's been working for me to incorporate that into my lifestyle. So it's just been awesome and it tastes amazing. My second favorite is definitely going to be the 647 Schmidt bread. I love it. I love the white version of this because it literally tastes like a piece of white bread. So I've got my wheat version and I've got my white bread. So this has a couple carbs though. I think it has about six and that is what it is. I'm still seeing results eating that too. So that I will limit to one a day just to keep my carbs still low, but it's just nice to feel like you're not restricting yourself. So I also love these Joseph's pitas. I've been eating these for years. I love having tuna fish in these, tuna salad with like lettuce and tomato, so delicious, or chicken salad. Highly recommend those if they have them at your store. Definitely go ahead and check them out. You can also cut them into triangles and bake them for about 10 minutes at 400 degrees, just watch them. And then I make them into tortilla chips and dip them in salsa. And then the last bread product that I like to have on hand are low carb wraps. I love the Carb Balance Mission Tortillas. These are so good. They're so, so, so good because you know what? You can make a sandwich in these. Tuna fish is also really good in those. The lunch meat that I talked about earlier, the turkey in there, so good. I make the same sandwich just in a wrap with the spread and the mayo, the hot pepper spread. Oh my gosh, it's so, so, so good. Just depending on what you feel like. Also like to use these for soft tacos. You could also bake these in the oven and make them into chips as well. So, oh, breakfast burritos. How could I forget? These tortillas are the best for breakfast burritos. Probably my absolute favorite. So it's great to have some low carb bread substitutes on hand. It's just great to have them as an option in case you feel like it because you're never going to make something into a lifestyle if you don't have the right things to curb your cravings. So that's the main reason I'm making this video to show you that there are options out there and you should never feel discouraged. Okay, number nine, I try to make as many meals as I can at home. I try to do home cooking or we, you know, but we do get fast food, it happens. This is life right now, I'm just rolling with it. I just try to make healthy decisions and I take it one meal at a time. So I also like to have a good, tasty, freezer dinner option available. I know some people are probably cringing, like what are you doing? Like TV dinners, no, no, no. But hey, this is life and I'm just being honest with you guys. I wanna share with you everything that I can to help you survive on your low carb lifestyle. So I love the Adkins meals, specifically two flavors only, unfortunately. I've tried a bunch. These are my two favorite ones. The meatloaf, I will always buy the meatloaf. That is my number one favorite one. They recently changed the recipe and I still love it, it's great. I will actually make this and then I will squirt some low sugar ketchup on top of it and I will eat this all day. I love it. <laughs> I'm guilty, guilty of liking freezer meals but that's just been me my whole entire life. I just, I love TV dinners. So these are great. I think this one's only seven grams of carbs. So I mean, it it's a perfect dinner. It fills me up. It's it's nice too because I like when things are portioned. You guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I've got an issue with portion control. That's something I'm always trying to work on. So when something's already portioned out for me, it just makes my life that much easier. I know how many calories are in it. I know the carbs, I know the protein. It's easy if you're count counting macros, you can just enter this in. If you're doing an app like MyFitnessPal, you can just scan the barcode and you know what you're eating. So there are some positives to TV dinners, guys. My second favorite is this like Mongolian bowl with beef and peppers and onions. Oh my gosh, I almost 
didn't get this, but I was grocery shopping online, doing another grocery order, and I was searching for Adkins meals because I wanted to try something new, and this one came up, and I was like, hmm, this could either be really good or really bad, <laughs> and it was really good, surprisingly good. The sauce tastes amazing, and the peppers and the onions are like cooked perfectly. It's, like, it's so weird. It doesn't even taste like a TV dinner. The meat itself is awesome. It's not chewy. I haven't had a chewy one yet, and it's like break apart tender. It's almost like a pot roast kind of texture, and it just literally falls apart. So those are my two favorites. If you guys are looking for an Atkins meal that you want to try, highly recommend. If you've tried them, let me know down in the comments. If you have a favorite Atkins meal or low carb TV dinner meal, leave it down in the comments. I am begging you because I just love these throw in the microwave. They're heated up and we're good to go and it's pre-portioned. So if you guys have a favorite, definitely let me know down in the comments. Okay, number 10. I'm always on a hunt for new keto low carb products, always, always. I'm always checking labels. I'm always on the hunt for stuff that says keto. I did a whole video on it last week and that's just something I'm always doing. So what I like to do, even if I'm doing an online grocery shop, I love to buy at least one thing that is something totally new that I've never tried before that I can test out. So that's just me constantly always looking for something to spice up my life. When it comes to food, if you're doing an online grocery order, type in low carb and it will bring up like a whole bunch of things. Some of them aren't low carb, so make sure you do check the labels. But if you just type in low carb or keto or even Adkins or Quest, Quest now has their new peanut butter cups. That was my little splurge from last week. Did not disappoint. They were delicious. If you guys haven't tried those yet, get them, but only buy one because you're gonna wanna eat 17 of them if you buy 17. If you're in a rut, and you're looking for something, you're looking for something new, just go on and search. If you're in the store, just check a couple labels, go down the snack aisle, check a couple labels. I find a lot of things down the protein bar aisle. There's, um, that's where they keep the Quest chips and the Quest products in my store. And then also the gluten-free aisle has a lot of like fun snacks that you wouldn't think would be low carb. Like they've got cauliflower crackers, all different kind of like different snacks made with different things that aren't gluten, but then they actually end up being low carb. So those are two places you can check. Or if you're doing an online order, just type it in and search and scroll through and read your labels. I hope you guys liked this video today. If you did, definitely give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and make sure you check the link down below. Sign up for my wait list. There are limited spots that are gonna be available and if you wanna work with me and we'll tackle your goals and we will get there. If this at all interests you, make sure you sign up for the wait list so you can at least get the information. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope you crush your goals this week and I will see you guys really soon with a new video. Bye everybody.